CNN FM, the financial network. I'm going to switch gears a little bit and focus in on our Maverick of the Morning. If you want to listen to internet broadcast music, you'll need to buy an MP3 player or some other digital device to download your favorite tunes until now. Our Maverick of the Morning, along with Philips Electronics, has unveiled a new product which should make internet radio listening easier. David Frerichs is founder of IM Networks and joins us now to explain. Thanks for joining us here on Marker Call. Hey, thank you. What do you got there? Well, this is the Philips FWI 1000 Internet Mini System. And now for the first time in a home audio product, someone is able to not only get the three CD changer, AM, FM, dual cassette, but now they get access to IM radio to be able to listen to hundreds of internet radio stations from around the world. Can you show us how it works? Sure. What you do is you have a simple, first I'll turn this around real quick, simple connection into any home broadband connection right here. It's now like your third antenna plugs into any DSL or cable line. Plug it in, turn it on, and then you power it up, and you're able to listen to any of hundreds of internet audio stations from around the world just by selecting them by category, by region, by language. And the great thing about it is that you're able to get a variety of content that you can't get over normal FM radio, and it all comes with digital quality delivered broadband over the internet. Now, hi, David. This is Charles Payne. Hi. Uh, what kind of uh, consumer demand do you foresee for this particular product? For me, I think that everybody has been interested in listening to internet radio, and that's been proven by what people are doing on their PCs today. But people have been frustrated by the inability of a true consumer-like experience. People listen to the radio, they want to be able to power on, turn a knob, and listen. They don't want to have to boot up their PC and do all sorts of uh, complicated things. This is now for the first time where the internet is being used more like a utility where you can just plug it into the back of the radio, turn it on, easily select from hundreds of radio stations, and with that kind of ease of use, the consumer demand is going to be very great. David, give us an estimate on sales, if you have it, and how much the product costs. Well, this product here uh, went on sale last week at uh, online retailers, and it is a list price at $4.99. We're thinking that products like these, we've actually licensed our technology IM tuning to a number of different uh, high-profile consumer electronics companies, we're going to be seeing hundreds of thousands this year and then moving into millions of units over the next five years. Would, would a uh, killer app with this device be something like a port of a portable nature, perhaps in automobiles or, or something uh, that consumers can carry along with them? Well, of course, everyone thinks that you know, when you're thinking of radio, you think portable and you think you want to take it in your car with you. And that's definitely where things are going to go eventually when we're enabled with uh, mobile broadband that's affordable. One of the things that's great about this today is that it is in a true consumer for, uh, form factor today, available for your home, and today there's like 10 million broadband connections in the home. This is something that's available today. You can buy it, put it in your house, put it in your dorm, and it really fulfills a need to listen to high-quality radio and high-quality MP3s off of your PC in a way that you can't do today other than using a PC. David Fryricks of IM Networks, thanks for joining us, playing show and, t show and tell. Appreciate it. Thank you.